back in Colorado, baby. 17 years we were childish playing we had time. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna give you guys a tutorial on how I do my everyday natural summer beach waves. So this is what it looks like. It's super easy, super quick. I naturally have pretty curly, wavy hair. So for me, I can get this done in literally five minutes. But if you have straighter hair, you might have to really get like every piece. That's totally fine, you can do it. The curling iron I use is a one inch curling iron. This one is from Baby, Baby Bliss, Baby Bliss, Baby Bliss. I don't know the name of it. But you can just use any one inch curling iron, honestly. I've done this kind of curl on so many other people with different curling irons and it always turns out the same. It's all on the technique. So I'm gonna give you guys the whole lowdown, show you how I get it, what I do, what products I use. So if you wanna see how I got these summer beach waves, then just keep watching. Okay, so this is like my hair um, fresh out of the shower. I haven't done anything to it, just brushed it. With this style of curls, you can kind of do it on any hair type. Um, you can always just, if you have really curly hair, you can kind of just take a straightener over it to smooth it out. Or if you already have straight hair, that's fine. Um, you might just want to add some like volume to yourself. I don't add any volume to my hair because I feel like it's already kind of poofy. So I don't really add any extra products until the end and I'll show you guys what those are. So let's just go ahead and get started. Since I do have curly hair, um, I can normally get away with just throwing a few curls in here and there and it kind of just blends together. But for the sake of the video and like if I was to go like out or something um, or like really take time on it, that's what I'm gonna do today. But a lot of times um, I just throw like three curls on this side, three curls on that side and I'm good to go. But this is a one inch curler. You can use whatever size you want, but I recently like cut my hair, not recently, but a while ago I cut my hair short so it was like to here, and I just wasn't getting the curls I liked with my bigger curling iron, so I got this one inch one, and since my hair has grown out, I still use a one inch one. I just feel like with a one inch, you can kind of get tighter curls. It's not gonna be like tight curls, I do skinny chunks and kind of like wave it. I just feel like with this one, the size, You'll see, anyway. And I use this on my sister who has like long hair and I've used this on people with short hair. So honestly, I feel like this curling iron is gonna be good unless you have like really thick, really long hair, you might wanna get a bigger one, but I feel like the one inch normally works for most people. So I'll just start by taking a chunk in the back. I like to do like one inch sections. I'm not like super perfect about how much I'm getting. It's different every time. Um, so I'll just take my curling iron clamp down, go about halfway down. And then I'm gonna wrap it around two times from the opposite way of my face. Hold it for a second, and then I'm gonna slowly unravel it just like that, and then pull down a little bit more, wrap again, unravel, and then pull out the end. I like to keep the end kind of straight just because I feel like it gives it that more like beachy vibe. And then I'll just throw it back. And then I like to alternate. So if I do one away from my face, then I'll go towards my face again. So again, about halfway down. Roll it towards me for about two rolls, hold it for a second, kind of unclamp for a little bit, and then unravel, pull it down, unravel, and then pull it towards the end. So I do about two unravels, just depends on how long your hair is. If you have longer hair, you might have to go a little bit farther. And then I'll take another piece. Again, the smaller the pieces, the better, because I feel like you get more of that wavy. I don't like when you have like big clumps. So I like to do a lot skinnier chunks unravel and then pull it down. Um, so for this one, I'm gonna go away from my head. So I got, this is about an inch. I'm gonna go all the way towards the root, smooth it out halfway, and then roll about twice. Hold it, unravel, pull it down, unravel, and then pull the end straight. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's gonna look a little bit tight at first. Um, then I just throw it back. And then my next one, I'm gonna kind of take, I really should have got a mirror. Okay, so I got a mirror so I'm not like staring in the viewfinder. But, so then I'll take another chunk here, and then I'm gonna go down, smooth out the top, and then roll it for these front ones. Sometimes I just can, can only get one roll because these hairs are shorter. And then I'll unravel, loop again, and then pull the end straight. So it looks like that. This is kind of what it looks like. And then for this piece, I'm gonna go towards my face. So I like to alternate it because I feel like um, it just gives it more of like a messy, natural look. And then for these ones, since these little hairs right here are just so short on me, I kind of just do like a small little loop. So I'll go here, wrap it around, and then just kind of pull it out like that, just to kind of smooth it over. 
So this one I'm gonna do towards my face, so do it in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. A lot of times I'm just rushing through it and just kind of giving it a little bit of a wave. Here, curl it, curl it, boom. And I learned this trick from my hairdresser. I just watched her do it on me and then I just copied her, so shout out Marissa. So here's what it's looking like so far. Now I'm gonna get to these front pieces. I have pretty thick hair. Um, well, it's not thick. I have fine hair, but there's like a lot of it. So I don't feel, I feel like I don't get every single piece and I think that's fine. Unless you have really pinned straight hair, then you might want to make sure you're getting every piece. But when it comes to these front pieces, I like to really separate them out into skinny chunks. So like a, this is like a pretty small piece here. And again, I just smooth the top, give it like a slight bend and then kind of just pull it down and then kind of straighten it. So it kind of looks just like a slight wave there. And then same thing for this front one. Kind of like a half curl and then just kind of pull it down. So then it just kind of gives it like a little bend at your face. And I guess they say when you have like the pieces in the front, you don't want to start the curl. Like you want to start the curl like at your eye, I think it is. Because if you start it too high here, it's just going to be like too curly. So as I try to do like once I get past my eyebrow, so like right here is when I set the wave and then I kind of pull it down, just like that. And I just give it like a little bend there. So now I'm gonna kind of like let this set and then I'm gonna switch to the other side and then I'll just kind of pin this side away. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, again, kind of alternating away and from my face. When I get closer to the front of my head, I just keep like these front pieces to kind of go away. But other than that, I just alternate back and forth. So let's go. I'm at like this weird in-between stage right now of like if I want to cut my hair short again or if I want to like get extensions and make it long because like my hair doesn't really grow past this length like my whole life I've always had like this kind of length hair and I'm kind of over it like I want it to go either extra long like I want to get extensions or I just want to chop it short. What do you think? Should I go short? Should I keep it long? I don't know. I think I might just cut it again because extensions are so expensive and so hard to keep up with. And just like, that's a weird piece. I'm gonna redo that. So like if you get a weird piece where it's like curled at the end, I just redo it. I like to make sure that the end stays straight. So always pull it like kind of straight down and that kind of smooths it out. Again, like if you look right here, this is like my natural hair, so it's kind of curly. So sometimes I just leave these, um, but for today, I'm just gonna show you again. Pull it through halfway, do a little twirl, and then you're gonna let the top piece go, pull it down again, unravel, and then pull it straight at the ends. You kind of want to pull it down at an angle so that the ends are kind of straight. So towards your head. Down and straight, just like that. I also have no product in my hair right now. This is just how it is when, um, because I do have like a little, I do put a little bit of Moroccan oil. I use like a little bit of Moroccan oil because I do have drier hair. I feel like that's a blonde thing. Blondes from like bleaching and stuff, you're just gonna have naturally drier hair. That's why I hardly ever straighten my hair. Like I don't ever use a straightener. I do everything I need to with this thing. Um, if I have like, if my hair is like really crazy, like sometimes I literally have a lion's mane hair, like especially after, like if I'm on the beach in the ocean or if I shower and then go to bed right away, I wake up and my hair is a freaking lion's nest. But for these pieces by my ears, I don't like to curl these ones too much because then I feel like they just stick out. So like right now they're okay. I kind of like to put the ones right by my ear. Like if you have short hair right here, like I do, I like to make sure I curl the ones right by my ear, like right above my ear towards your face. I just started doing this and I noticed like they don't stick out as much and it doesn't, I don't know, I just like the way it looks when it's so like this one I put towards my face a little bit and I feel like that's gonna make it look a little bit more beachy. And this one I'm just gonna kind of leave, it's already kind of waved. So for my front pieces, again I'm gonna do like smaller chunks. So pull it through, just loop it around once, like one and a half times in the front, especially on your shorter pieces. You just don't want like a ton of curls like right in the front. Like that's a little too curly for me. So then I'll just kind of run through it here. Pull it down. So wave, kind of like right about there. Unravel, boom, like that. Always make sure it's straight at the ends. 
Am I missing any pieces? Kind of missing a lot, but that's why it's kind of nice if you have naturally curly hair, then it's like totally fine if you miss a few. But if you have straight hair, it's all good. Like I feel like even when my hair is straight, like when I straighten it or blow dry it straight before I curl it, um, I think it still looks cute with like straight pieces in it too. Like that's what I'm saying, it doesn't have to be perfect even if you could just touch it and like give it something. And then one little thing I like to do to give me a little bit more volume on top is I'll take like one of these pieces up here, like a really skinny piece and figure out which way it's going. This one's going towards my head and then I'm just gonna kind of take it at the root and just do like two little, two little wrap arounds. And then kind of leave it like that. Same on this side. Two little wrap, Ooh. I feel like this just gives it a little bit more volume. I'll do it with a piece in the back here. This just helps give it a little bit more volume at the root. I do this on my sister because she has like flatter hair on top. So if you have like flat hair at your root, just take it right at the root and just do a couple loops around just to kind of get it like up like that. So it's like that. So now, now that it's all like, all the curls are done, I like to let them set in the heat. That's why I didn't brush the side out yet. I like to let it set. And then once, I let it set. I normally like do my makeup or like whatever, like put on deodorant or like brush my teeth or whatever. Um, once it's kind of set, then I like to just take my hands and just kind of zhish it and kind of like pull it through, brush it out a little bit, kind of make it not so perfect. Well, it's kind of curly today. If it's like a little bit too curly like this is, then I'll just take the curling iron and kind of go over a few pieces um, just so they're not super, super curly. I like the look, I like a good natural curl look. I don't like super perfect ringlets. I'm just gonna take this piece right here and curl it towards my face. I really don't like my curls to like bunch together. So I feel like it does that a little bit in the front. So I kind of just, redirect it, put that one towards my face, and maybe even this one here too. And then for the products that I use afterwards, a lot of times, most of the time I don't even use products because my hair just kind of stays like this for like three days. It'll literally stay curled for three days. But I do like this um, Moroccan oil hairspray here. I do it just light. I feel like it doesn't make your hair super crunchy, which is what I hate. Um, so I'll just take this and kind of spray it a little bit. And then I also really like this Not Your Mother's Beach. It's a Not Your Mother's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. This is just gonna give it like extra texture. So if you feel like you have um, really flat hair, this will kind of help. I like to just put this towards my ends not really my roots, because I don't like it to be super puffy at the roots, so I just spray it in here. It's just like salt water, so it really just gives it more of a beachy look and kind of makes them um, not so perfect. Be careful, a little bit too much of this will make your hair like a little bit salty and like crunchy. Yeah, this is literally how I wear my hair almost every day, and I can get it done in like five minutes. All right, that is my, that is a finished Beach Waves tutorial. I hope that was good. God, I'm kind of nervous to like edit this and like I'm gonna hate it all, but whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you tried it out or if you have any questions like that, I'll be happy to answer them. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh.